Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me. It's a great pleasure to be a speaker of this conference. And my name is Elena Rukoshko. I'm a teacher, teacher trainer. I run a language center and an online school. But today I'm going to be talking as a teacher of teenagers. Uh, and I'd like to share some activities to motivate teenagers to speak. And the first aspect which we can't overlook is, of course, a psychological aspect which uh, influences our classes and our work with teenagers. Actually, they are sometimes reluctant to talk. And uh, we have to pay attention that they have, they experience psychological and biological changes. And uh, when we, it, when it comes to speaking, we notice that they are so snowed under with and classes that uh, they are extremely exhausted and sometimes it seems to them that they do not reach the expectations of teachers and parents. Uh, that's why the first uh, point to take into account is topic. What do they want to talk about, of course, themselves. And I've recently conducted a poll to for my students, for my teenagers, and asked them about topics which motivate them to talk, which they would like to discuss. And these are the answers of my students. Uh, and of course, just because they want to talk about celebrities, it doesn't mean we shouldn't uh, keep to the plan of our course book, but we can use these topics as warming ups. And I start my classes uh, from leading or warming up based on these topics. It's fashion, celebrities, latest news, trends is in social nets. And uh, of course, sometimes we think that gadgets are uh, a disaster, but we can't give gadgets a miss and love of students to social nets can be turned into a very motivating topics. Apart from all this, they um, told that they would like to pay attention to psychological aspect, such as Ekaterina mentioned, they want to uh, pass their uh, to to, uh, to pursue their career, I would say, yes, and they want to set goals for future, and it's very important to discuss all this with our students. And of course, traveling and interesting places, gadgets are topics to discuss, but we know that sometimes personal questions do not work. For example, if you set topic fears and ask a question, what are you afraid of? Uh, perhaps our students will not tell us. And what can we do? So we can uh, ask them to imagine that they are a Harry Potter, for example. Yeah, they are your Harry Potter. What are you afraid of? This gives them the impression of an imaginary character. They take a role and they start talking. Besides, uh, there are some techniques which lead to very vivid discussions, and we have to give to provide the example. It's wonderful to start with a personal story. For example, once I took a trip to London and lost my passport. And you, of course, it's an imaginary story, but uh, if you said such a story, you can follow uh, this story with the question, have you ever experienced something like this? And I'm definitely sure your students will find some interesting, some catching stories which they can discuss. Uh, one more thing is to tell them that you understand them and start with a question, if I were a student, I would and provide some things like, I would play football, I will not do my homework. Uh, this will give them the impression that you understand them uh, and build strong confidence between you and students and offer them a question if I were a teacher I would. Uh, one more technique is to pay a compliment. Sometimes when we are receive compliments we say something like if we hear 
you're wearing a wonderful dress. We say something like, oh, no, I bought it last year. And I said the task as please pay free compliments to your partner and ask them to go around the classroom and find a person and pay this person free compliments. It works perfectly and they start speak. Uh, the, one more uh, technique to consider technique is to consider uh, is teacher is also a human and do not be afraid of telling them about your failures. For example, once I failed to pass the exams, this uh, helps them to be closer to you. Uh, also, feedback is extremely important. Uh, I'm a big fan of the technique exit ticket and I, as I work online, I every day I ask them a question, what have you learned today and what was the most interesting for you? What was the most important thing to learn from today's lesson? And if you work online, you can use Zoom chat box, messengers and Google Forms for this. Uh, also, another point to consider is open tasks. And if we set an open task, uh, we can give them a choice, which is extremely important for them. Sometimes it's really uh, challenging for them to continue six sentences. So I said the task has continue, choose and conti continue three sentences. And they use their own ideas and think it, uh, it, it's also about building self-consciousness and provoking thinking. I felt disappointed because, and if you ask a question, how did you spend the weekend? They say something like, I don't know, it was okay. But think about your weekend and continue this sentence with uh, any possible variant using your own ideas. Changes the task completely and can make a U-turn in your teaching. A uh, role playing games is one more important aspect which helps them to start uh, a very vivid discussion because they take a role of a character and it is not the student it's uh, himself who makes a mistake it's a character uh, they play for who makes a mistake and this uh, can reduce the fear of making mistake. One more important aspect to play, uh, to take into account while play, playing role-playing games is to set the aim, to use resources, and to uh, implement interaction between students in your lessons. Uh, this is the example of a role-playing game which I played with my students and I'm definitely sure that a perfect role-playing game will be on trendy English so and you know you're uh, you are going to have a English camp, yes, trendy English camp. So uh, visuals are very important. Uh, I came up with this idea when I conducted lessons for my students and they said that it's very important for us to see. They spend a lot of time in their gadgets, of course, but they got used to visual information and uh, information. And I sometimes use pictures like this uh, for warming up or for setting a leading in for my classes and use the technique, which is called break your own record. I ask them to, um, talk about each picture. For example, say three sentences about the picture and I uh, set the time limit. For example, please switch on your stopwatch and say three sentences about the picture. After that, I ask them to stop the stopwatch and to do it again, changing the picture. And usually they break their own records. So we do not compare them with each other. We compare their own results with their own results. And this is what I wanted to tell you. And these are the ideas I wanted to share. Thank you for attention. And if you have some questions, do not hesitate to contact me or to follow me or to drop me a line. Thank you very much.